Macaulay Culkin is considered by many to be the most famous child actor of all time, thanks to his famous role as Kevin McAllister in the cult movie, Home Alone. Immensely famous and incredibly wealthy when he was only 10 years old, one would think that Macaulay had a dream childhood. But in reality, the Hollywood child prodigy was far from leading a happy life, for, behind the scenes of the film studios, other tragedies were being played out. Abused by his parents and overwhelmed by media pressure, young Macaulay gradually fell into total decline. Make yourself comfortable because today we are going to see the tragic story of Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin was born on August 26, 1980, in Manhattan, New York City. The young boy grew up in a large family with a very modest income, sometimes bordering on poverty. Macaulay and his six siblings will share a rather precarious daily life, crammed together with their parents in a shabby one-room apartment. The father of the family, Christopher Cornelius Kit Culkin, was a former theater actor who had never managed to break through, but who cherished the hope that one of his children would become famous. With great ambitions for his third son, Macaulay, whom he found very photogenic and adorable looking, he sent him to theater and ballet school at an early age. At the same time, he gave his young son numerous castings, which took him to the film sets at the age of four. Under the guidance of his father, little Macaulay appeared in several television and film productions, playing supporting roles until the end of the 1980s. The cute little blonde boy will finally be noticed by the writer and director John Hughes, who, falling under his spell, will write him a tailor-made role that will make him the undisputed child star of Hollywood. In 1990, the cult film, Home Alone, which will be emulated all over the world. The unhoped for success of the feature film depended largely on the excellent acting of Little Macaulay, who was barely 10 years old at the time. Indeed, the spectators of the whole world literally fell in love with this mischievous young boy, who will prove throughout the film that he knows how to defend himself very well. Home Alone has become one of the most popular Christmas movies of all time and is considered one of the most profitable at the box office. Made with a budget of no more than $18 million, it brought in more than $470 million for the production studios. This phenomenal critical and commercial success will propel the 10-year-old boy into the limelight, earning him worldwide fame and recognition. Of course, money began pouring in on the boy's family, who had become the highest-paid child actor in the history of film, earning up to $5 million for every role he played. The Culkin family, who had suffered from precarious circumstances in the past, now found themselves with a veritable cornucopia of wealth and were now living in opulence and comfort. Little Macaulay thus becomes the most bankable young actor in Hollywood, with directors scrambling to put his name and pretty face on their movie posters. Let's make a small parenthesis if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications. Let's go on. The young boy, now a star, will thus follow the Hollywood blockbusters, including the sequel to the film that made him world famous, Home Alone, Lost in New York. Other feature films will follow, which will also be very well received by the public, such as, Richie Rich, and, Getting Even with Dad. His films are very well received at the box office and the fees are astronomically high, but life is not any rosier for the main character. For if the mischievous boy he played on the screen seemed so happy, his interpreter was unfortunately at the opposite end of the spectrum. The little boy, who is shooting at a frenetic pace, ends up exhausted and no longer follows this infernal rhythm. Macaulay dreams of escaping the studios and the spotlight to live a normal life, like all boys his age. Unfortunately, his father, who literally deprives him of his childhood, does not allow him to do so. Christopher Culkin doesn't want to hear anything about his son's retirement from film, as it would mean the loss of an incalculable and inexhaustible source of income. Culkin will therefore force his young son to shoot even more films, cashing checks with several zeros in the process, and leading a real Pasha life. When the little boy is tired of working and simply aspires to go to high school, his father is violent to dissuade him from doing so and quickly gets him back on track. The year 1995 marked a real turning point in little Macaulay's life, with the divorce of his parents, which tore the whole family apart and made him lose his already uncertain bearings. The young 15-year-old teenager then becomes the object of a fierce legal battle over his custody and, of course, guardianship over his immense fortune. The young boy had the equivalent of $17 million at that time, and this money was driving both his parents crazy, as they engage in every imaginable treachery to win the jackpot. 
It will finally be his mother who will have custody of the child star and control of the goose that lays the golden eggs at the same time, although her victory will be short-lived. Macaulay's mother will not have time to squander her son's fortune, as he will successfully begin a process for the emancipation of a minor the following year, on the occasion of his 16th birthday. Finally freed from the parental yoke, the world's most famous young teenager thought he would return to normal life and leave the media scene behind. Before continuing it is time to answer the question of the day and today it is about general culture. In which prestigious film ceremony was Macaulay Culkin nominated, after his brilliant interpretation of Kevin McAllister in the cult film, Home Alone? Is this option A. The Golden Globes. Option B. The Oscars. Or finally option C. Caesars. Think carefully and write what you think is the right answer in the comments. Answer later, before the end of the video. Let's start again. Young Macaulay is finally able to detach himself from the parental burden and aspires to live the life of a teenager like any other. But that's without counting on the tenacity of the paparazzi and the invading fans who spy on his every move and deprive him of all intimacy. The celebrity becomes like a second skin for young Macaulay and unfortunately for him, he can't take it off. Even while keeping a low profile and trying to blend in with the crowd, he is recognized and approached by his countless fans, who become hysterical in his presence. Macaulay still enrolled in high school and fell in love with one of his classmates, whom he married when he was only 17. This marriage will not last long, however, as the young couple will eventually divorce after only two years. Macaulay, who thought he had found the love of his life and his soulmate, was totally devastated, especially since he had no virtual contact with his parents at that time and therefore has no shoulder to cry on. After two years of abstinence from love, young Macaulay begins a rather serious relationship with a rising star named Mila Kunis. But the young celebrity couple will face so much media pressure that they will not be able to hold out, and once again, after having been happy, Macaulay sinks into loneliness and grief. Not having found paradise on earth, he decides to create one for himself, even if it is only temporary and artificial. The young teenage star thus sinks into the dark abyss of narcotics, and very quickly finds himself stuck in the vicious circle of addiction. On September 17, 2004, just after he blew out his 20th birthday, Macaulay Culkin was arrested for possession of various soft drugs and diverted drugs such as Xanax and Clonazepam. He will get out of jail after paying a $4,000 bail but will have to appear before a judge for drug possession, a not insignificant offense in the state of Oklahoma. However, the judge in charge of his case is rather lenient in not letting him go to jail. The old magistrate was probably also a family man who liked to watch Home Alone with his children, so it was only his sympathy for the young actor that finally saved him. Macaulay Culkin will get off with a one-year suspended sentence, along with a course of drug treatment and a $540 compensation package. But if the child star who has become an adult has managed to avoid prison, he is still terribly addicted to narcotics. His drug abuse has thus very quickly affected his health, and his physical appearance has changed so much that he becomes almost unrecognizable. Numerous photographs then began to circulate in the scandal press and the tabloids, showing the young actor's physical decline. Displaying an emaciated face, with hollow cheeks and huge dark circles under his eyes, Macaulay scared the canvas and his millions of fans around the world. The wildest rumors about his health began to flourish everywhere, and some even claimed that Macaulay had contracted the AIDS virus. The physical decay of Hollywood's favorite ex-boyfriend has also been accompanied by a real artistic and commercial decadence. What was once the most bankable child in the American film industry has become a young man without any real artistic references. His name, which used to make movies sell out in the blink of an eye and fill movie theaters, is now only a distant memory of fame and sometimes a funny cameo or a simple parody of his emblematic character Kevin McAllister. He will also shoot in independent productions that will be very badly received by the public, such as the film, Sex and Breakfast, which is literally murdered by film critics. The return of the child prodigy to Hollywood is therefore not on the agenda for the former child star, so he tries his hand at writing. Macaulay thus publishes a novel which he calls, Junior, and which fails to convince the readers, nor the literary critics, who like their colleagues of the seventh art, have literally massacred the poor young man. Seeing his artistic hopes dwindling more and more, Macaulay Culkin finally turned to music, founding the rock band, The Pizza Underground. But then again, the former child star of Hollywood will be totally out of it, and his band will not reap the expected success. 
Indeed, the group wanted to be a parody of the songs of the mythical Velvet Underground, with the pizza as the main and recurring theme. As much to say that the weirdness of the thing and its unusual character, to say the least, did not make many emulators among the music lovers. Quite the contrary, since the audience even gave them a very rough reception, as for example when they were booed and threw glass bottles on stage at Rock City in Nottingham. Thus, and despite all his efforts to try to resurface and regain his place in the pantheon of world stars, the young man is no longer able to break through. By retiring at the age of 14, the former child star couldn't have imagined how hard it can be to retrain as an actor. Macaulay Culkin will also have certainly understood how difficult it is to return to Hollywood after having voluntarily left it because like a running train, it waits for no one and if you miss the station, you'll never be able to get back on board. The former child prodigy will therefore have learned this at his own expense, which allows us today to say that he not only missed the plane, but that he unfortunately also missed his life. So, what do you think of the tragic fate of the world's highest paid former child star and his slow but inexorable artistic and physical decline? Give us your feelings in the comments. If not for the answer to the quiz, it's answer A, since Little Macaulay had been nominated for the Golden Globes in the category of Best Actor, quite an achievement when we know that he was only 10 years old at the time. I hope that many of you found the answer.